I'm Peter Block here in Anaheim, California at the AHA Annual Meeting for On the Scene. With me is Jonas Oldgren from Uppsala, Sweden. And uh, Jonas and I have been talking about dabigatran versus triple therapy and his sub-study uh, that he's recently reported. So Jonas, I'm not going to take away uh, all of your good information. Tell me about the trial, the sub-study trial, and then we'll talk a little about the clinical implications of all this. So this is a large randomized clinical trial looking at patients with, with atrial fibrillation undergoing stent procedures. And we have good solid evidence for dual antiplatelet treatment in patients undergoing stenting procedures and with ACS, uh, and also for oral anticoagulants in patients with atrial fibrillation. But the problem arises when we have both these conditions. So we evaluated dual, anti, dual antithrombotic treatment with the bigger term, 150 mg twice daily or 110 mg twice daily with a PTY12 inhibitor compared to standard triple therapy with warfarin. And, and the results show, shown in Barcelona show that we could really reduce the bleeding risk by, by the dabigatran dual uh, treatment compared to warfarin triple treatment without an excess in, in uh, uh, thromboembolic events, although it was not powered for that. Okay, so let me just interrupt for a second and say, when you say dual therapy, that's dabigatran plus? plus a P2Y12 inhibitor, which was at the discretion of the investigator, could be clopidogrel or ticaglor, and in 12% of the case, uh, cases, it was actually ticaglor, even in the triple therapy arm with warfarin, which was a surprise, at least to me. Okay, so at the end, what was your sub-study? Well, we looked at, at the, the subgroups of patients treated with for ACS or non-ACS, for patients treated with DES, uh, which was 83% of the population, or D, uh, bare metal stents, and those 12% treated with ticagular versus clopidogrel. And actually, we had no significant interactions, so the main study results were really consistent in all those subgroups. Well, actually, you know, I might stand here and say, well, it was a dumb study, it didn't show anything, but the fact of the matter is, this is a critical study, isn't it, for the clinical uh, care of patients who are in atrial fibrillation. Yeah, absolutely. We know that, that triple therapy w with warfarin really increases bleeding risk, and now we have substantial evidence that both arms with dabigatran 110 milligram or dabigatran 150 milligram uh, in, in uh, combination with a P2Y12 inhibitor really reduces bleeding risk. The absolute risk reduction was huge. The, the relative risk reduction with 110 mg was 48% with the primary outcome, ISTH major and clinic relevant mi minor bleeds, and also 28% uh, reduction with a higher dose, which is quite reassuring for our patients. Okay, so uh, for all the interventional cardiologists and other cardiologists caring for patients with PCI and AF, what's the right thing to do? Bottom line, throw warfarin away for sure. Absolutely, and I think you should go for the higher dosages of, of, of uh, Dabigitan 1.5 milligram dose. It's effective and it's safe. It's proven in the RELY study and now in the RIDUAL study. For patients with high bleeding risk, you may, may consider the 110 milligram dose in those countries where it's approved. Plus clopidogrel. Plus clopidogrel or perhaps ticagrelor, especially if you have a high thrombotic risk. I would choose ticagrelor. Thank you, Jonas.